Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Drake Alienates Potential Audience Members and also Large Demographics. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'll put the self-deprecation at the beginning, and then and then they can't criticize me. And I'll also leave in this whispering, so that way they, they can't criticize me for that either, now that I've acknowledged the self-deprecation. I'm a fucking genius. Uh, one, two, If you guys follow my Twitter, you might think that I'm going to be totally biased in this video. I am. I admit that I'm biased on my Twitter. I mean, surprise, surprise, you follow my Twitter, you get my opinion. But for this one, I'm trying to aim toward the center of politics and ignore them altogether and just present the facts. So lately, what's been going on is some conservatives, some, I'd have to reiterate that it's some conservatives, have been going off on Twitter claiming election fraud, including the President of the United States. And we're gonna go through each one of those claims and just flat out debunk them, because none of them are true. Thousands of votes suddenly favoring Biden. So what evidently happened is in the state of Michigan, Biden suddenly got 133,000 votes just all at once. Wow, that's really suspicious. Well, first of all, he didn't get that, but if that did happen, there's also possible explanations for it. One of them is because they don't actually count the votes one by one by one, because that's too long to update. They count the votes in huge chunks, and then they submit them. It could have been just a weird quirk of the data, but that's not actually what happened here. What actually happened here was that it was a simple typo that somebody had made. Yeah, I know. I know. It astounds me that somebody made a mistake and then corrected it. It's fucking crazy, but that's what happened. And it's funny because you see people like trying to report them seeing this happening before their eyes. On Fox News, they have this guy interviewing and he reports about thousands of ballots being hefted into a large van with the word Biden on the side of it. Really? It's not- <sighs> Like, it reminds me of, like, cartoon bank robbers. Like, they go in and they have a huge dollar sign in their sack and they're wearing, like, a convict shirt and a mask over their face. Might as well just scream, I'm doing something illegal! I'm doing something illegal! I'm doing something illegal! Who the hell would do that? There's allegedly recordings of employees reporting that, like, thousands of votes are being put in for Biden and they're just being made up. You can also just acknowledge that anyone can record this stuff. You do realize that somebody can just grab their camera phone and go, like... Good, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at the uh, ballot counting center here in Albany, New York. Uh, the liberal-run Albany, New York. I'm I'm a registered not a, a Democrat, and what what these people are doing here is absolutely absurd. This is not about politics. This is about the integrity of our democracy. Look at what is happening here. I'm honestly disgusted, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I can't believe that the radical left Nazi Antifa crowd, the, the Black Lives Matter crowd, it would do something so abhorrent. It, it really says a lot about that party. Even though I'm a Democrat myself, this is obviously not meant to be political, because uh, I'm obviously a Democrat. This is just a massive threat to our democracy. I really hope this video goes out there because people need to be educated. People need to see that the integrity of our democracy is failing due to this obvious, clear sighting right here. Thank you, everybody. I'd also like to point out that the chief example conservatives were using as evidence of voter fraud turned out to be a complete fabrication, and in return, they tried to give him $136,000 for being an American hero. Wonderful. Population inconsistencies. Allegedly, what is happening is that the counties are reporting more votes than their population. 
And if you see somebody using this argument and you can tell they have no fucking idea how voting is done. Voting is not done based on which county you're in. They were done based on your congressional district. A congressional district, also known as a constituency, are different areas cartographed to make it more fair for voting. And also to allow gerrymandering, but we'll get to that in a bit. I'll give an example. These are all the counties of New York, but not every county in New York has the same amount of people in them. There's going to be way, 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 way more people in New York City than somewhere like Albany. So what they actually use is congressional districts. These. This is how voting is done. This is how voting is registered. Long, long, long story short, the population of the county does not matter for how many votes are recorded for it, because votes aren't even counted based on the counties in the first place. There's also this image being shared around of just thousands of ballots being just left places. First of all, that is circumstantial evidence. I mean, if you saw that anywhere else and you didn't have that mindset in your head of like, oh, they're trying to hide our ballots, then you wouldn't think anything of it. But secondly, this is an image from 2018. <laughs> it has nothing to do with our election currently. Dead people voting. All right, well, this is really stupid. It's made up. But a couple of different news outlets did an investigation and 50 of the most prominent examples that people have been using, 37 of them were dead and did not cast a vote. 13 of them were still alive. And a lot of them were just people with suspicious years. You know, much like how police officers use suspicious activity to go and harass you. Basically, people born in 1900 and 1901. Amazingly, 13 of the people that they were saying were dead people that voted were still alive. It's made up. Wait, you mean to tell me somebody lied on the internet? Gerrymandering, a process that I talked about earlier, is where the cartographers for different congressional districts try to very specifically shape the districts to net the most amount of votes that they can, and to also invalidate poor people, black people, and make their vote basically not matter. The only requirement for a congressional district is that they almost have the same amount of people in them. So you can draw them to very specific shapes to favor your party. And they're actually drawn by the House of Representatives, which is an insane conflict of interest. So the districts can be drawn like this, or this, or this! They all have the same amount of people in them, but because of the shape in which they're drawn, they can favor either party. I believe that this is fraud, and it can decide the entire vote months or years before the election even happens. And there are tons of other fraudulent practices that Democrats and Republicans both have used and both have implemented. And I think it's important for you to take the information you learned here and go and do your own research about this. Maybe there's other stuff that people haven't covered by now. I can only report on what happened based on what's available right now. Something might have changed between now and when this video goes up. Something might have changed after this video goes up. I don't know. So I encourage you to go and get yourself educated on this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.